once you've got the computer turned on, you want to come over to the scanner, and if you come over to down here, there is a grey button here, which you can just see wider. Press the grey button, and that's your on button. And then you just need to wait until the scanner is completely turned on. So while it's turning on, you get a blue flashing light and you just need to wait for that to stop and then you know it's all done. And once that stops, as so, we can return to the computer and we can click the Epson scan icon, which is that one there. And once that comes up, you can end up with this screen, which goes into detail about how, what DPI bit colour you want for the picture. We'll come to that in a second. So now we revert back to the scanner. So if we're going to scan some negatives, we're going to lift the lid, as so. And then you've got the tray here, which is for if you're, you keep that on if you're scanning documents. Um, but if you want to scan negatives, you need to take this off. And there you've got behind it is the light. And you put that down with the white side facing up so you don't get dust on it. And then we get the negatives holder. So we've already got some negatives in this. And as you'll see, there are there is a letter A for the bit we need to use. And that letter A comes in handy now. So once you put the negatives in, which is a reasonably straightforward process, you put this down, and as you see, you want to get the A's. See there, the A's to match up. And you put, so that hole goes in there like that. That ensures that it's central for the lights on there. And you push that down, and the negatives are in. Then we come back to the computer, to this screen. And we check in, it's a film, document type film. We've got colour, so you can choose 28 bit, 24 bit, or 48, or any of the other if you want to do black and white. Just for time, we'll go 24 bit, but 48 bit would be a higher quality. Resolution, 6400 is what we did before, and that comes out about 5 megabytes. Just for speed, we're going to go for 400 on this, 360 for this occasion, just to make it quicker. And you've got all these other options here you can use as well for remo removal of dust, but for time purposes we won't. So we'll click preview now. And you have to click preview before you can do the full scan. And when it does, it does a preview so you can see the thumbnails and you can click whether you want to scan all the pictures on there or just a few. It takes about 30 seconds to do the scan. And then it will stop at the end. And then you just choose what pictures you want. You can look at pictures only in thumbnail size, just so you can get an idea of what you want to do a full scan on. So just for time again purposes, we're just going to go for, we untick all of them apart from picture number two. We'll go stay with this one. And number four, ones that wouldn't normally be used. So unticking all the others, and once I'm ready, I just go back and click scan. Then this work, this picture comes up. Where do you want to save it? If you want to save it in my documents, click there. At the moment, go straight to pictures. If I want to choose another folder, I click other, click browse, and then it comes up with another screen, and I can choose where I want to do it. So if I wanted to put on the E drive, I just click on there and find the right folder to put it in. And you can make a new folder there as well. But for now, we're just going to save it in pictures. So we click pictures and click OK. And then it starts scanning. And you get this and you have to wait until this is completely finished before you can do anything else. But it shouldn't take too long as we're doing it at such low resolution at the moment. Should do it all very quickly. He says. So it should take less than a minute. So here we go. 
Well, this is happening. The scanner has the blue light, so that's how you can tell if it's working and you can't do anything with it, you get the blue flashing light. Just waiting. So we're all, there we go, all done. And it's saved in pictures. And we got here, we've got image 19, which is what we just done. It's only 52 kilobytes and you can click on it. And it'll load up in PaintShop Pro, which is a default application. And you can do whatever you want with it. This often comes up and you always just click okay. And there's a picture there with the random folk on it. And then once all finished, take this out, put this in safekeeping, and you just turn it off at the side.